everyone i'm erica and welcome back to my channel um thank you so much for tuning in so as you can tell by the name of the video i want to introduce you to someone special to me say hey tucker say hey <laughs> you guys i got a toy poodle his name is tucker say hey You guys, I'm so happy. So if you guys were able to catch my last video, you saw that I did a puppy haul by Faith. And I now have a puppy. Praise God. Woohoo! So yes, I just wanted to take the time to introduce my puppy Tucker to you guys. Um, I know a lot of people commented on the last video and also reached out to me on social media just to kind of encourage me in my search because yeah it it took a very long time but i'm really thankful and glad that i waited and that i didn't settle for anything and i just waited um for this little awesome little cute little handsome little guy so again his name is tucker his middle name is ivan and his last name is william so um tucker i don't know if you guys are familiar with the it's like an old sitcom um called baby daddy uh, but Taj Mari, his character that he played on that TV show was called Tucker. And so I really liked that name. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to name my dog that one day. And then for his middle name, Ivan, um, my father passed away when I was 11 years old. And my dad's name was Irvin. And I wanted a way to honor my dad. So I just dropped the R in Irvin. And um, you have Ivan. And so I actually looked up the meaning of Ivan. And Ivan means God's gracious gift. So, I mean, that's that's fitting. It's very fitting. So it's like a win all the way around. But yep, again, here is Tucker. And yeah, I just wanted to, um, you know, in addition to introducing you guys to him, I have had him, he's eight weeks old, but I got him when he was a little over seven weeks. Um, I actually went down to South Carolina. I was visiting my mom in South Carolina and um, one of my friends knew that I really wanted a dog and she told me about this place where she got her dog from. And I reached out to them on a Saturday and they told me they would have some dogs on Tuesday. And um, yeah, I ended up getting him on Tuesday. Tuesday, June 30th, yeah. So he has been with me a little over a week and it's been so fun. As you guys can see, he is a ball of energy but he's such a sweet boy and he's such a quick learner. And um, yeah, we've been having a lot of fun. Haven't we, Tucker? Yeah, we've been having a lot of fun. So um, yeah, I wanted to take, to take the time to kind of answer some questions. I know like since I got him, um, we've been to the vet, we've been to the grocery store, we've been to, um, what the pet store, um, just walking around my neighborhood. Um, and so he's met a lot of people and so he's received a lot of questions. Um, and I don't know, I just wanted to kind of answer those questions during this video. And the first question that we get a lot is, um, is that a toy? Cause I carry Tucker around. I have this little purse that I carry him around in when I go in stores and things. And usually when he's in the purse, he's very chill. So a lot of people think it's a toy. And so I say like, uh, close. He's a toy poodle. <laughs> but um, they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that was that he was real. I'm like, yeah, he's very much real. So he's a toy poodle. He's chocolate in color. He has some really pretty hazel eyes. I don't know if he'll look at the camera. And you can tell, yeah, yeah, he's so pretty. Um, and then the other question that I get, he's probably going to want to get down a little bit. He's wanting to play around and everything. But another question um, is, uh, does he shed? So toy poodles are hypoallergenic. So um, that means they don't shed, right? They do is just very little hair loss. Um, but I haven't seen any shedding with Tucker. So, no. Um, let's see. Where does he sleep? So, on the very first night that I got Tucker, 
um, I actually put him in his dog bed and I put the dog bed in the bed with me. So he slept in the bed with me. Um, that y'all, I am used to sleeping by myself and in a bed by myself. And so that first night that I had Tucker, like I really couldn't get any sleep because I kept waking up and trying to check on Tucker, make sure he was okay, make sure like he hadn't jumped out of his bed, make sure I hadn't rolled over on him and anything like that. So I was like, okay, well, I need to go get a crate. <laughs> Cause I really, before I got on, I had been researching about doing crate training. Um, but because I was in South Carolina with him, I wanted to start crate training once he was in my home in Virginia. And so, I mean, that second night, I was just like, okay, you know what? We're just gonna have to start it here and then continue it when we get back home. So we started it and everything. I'm gonna put them down. So we started um, that crate training on that second night. Um, I got the crate. When I put him in the crate, he whined a lot. Um, but then, you know, somebody said like, I the Holy Spirit was like, play some classical music. And so I went on our heart radio and I went to their, um, like sleep playlist and I picked classical music and I started playing that. And then after about five minutes, y'all, he fell asleep. Like he was good. Um, and then I did that again for the third night. Um, put him in the crate. He whined a little, played some classical music and he went to sleep. So those were the only two nights that I actually had to play crate, um, classical music. After that, he would freely go into his crate, he'd go to sleep, he'd play, whatever. Like he didn't need um, any like coaxing or any type of uh, classical music or anything like that. He was fine. So yes, now he um, sleeps in his crate without any issues. Um, another question that I get is, does he sleep through the night? you guys tucker sleeps through the night the only time tucker wakes up is when he has to go to potty either i will wake up um, and wake him up so that he can go to the potty or he will let me know when he has to go to potty so uh he'll whine uh and let me know like hey i want to get out i need to use the bathroom so i'm like okay we'll do that um and that's about it other than that he he goes to sleep in in the crate through the night uh, so we're good on that um, and then what tips can you share for new pet owners? So one of the things uh, that I would like to share with you guys, again, I mentioned earlier about the um, classical music while you're doing crate training. That may be helpful for you and your pup if you have a new pup and you kind of can tell that like they're not really adjusting well to the crate, uh, they're whining, you know, try playing some classical music to see if that helps. But another tip, so before I got Tucker, I would look at videos on YouTube and, you know, kind of see like, oh, okay, well, um, I wonder like, how could I train them in the house to do like house training and stuff like that. And so P Tucker is not old enough, like he doesn't have all his shots. So I potty train him on a um, pee pad. And so I have the pee pads in different locations throughout the house. Um, and so what I would do is whenever, um, like I knew to take him after he wakes up and before he goes to bed at night and then, um, after he ate, but I didn't realize that sometimes like after he'd be playing for maybe like 10 to 15 minutes, he would have a little accident and I'm like, oh wow. So I need to, you know, start letting him like play a little bit, but then to picking him up and going and taking him to potty after he's played for a little while. And so that was something that I had to learn for myself. So it wasn't anything that he could help, but um, that was something that I had to do. So those were the only accidents that we would have um, with him. Other than that, like I've been with him, watching him um, a lot. So we didn't have many accidents. Um, but yes, with the um, pee pad training. So one thing I found was I would pick Tucker up and place him on the pee pad and then he'd walk away from the pee pad. And y'all, when I say not even a foot away from the pad, he would pee. I was like, Tucker, really? Like, really you gonna pee? Like you were, I just put you on the pad. What are you doing? And so I realized he needed more of like a confined space. So what I did, um, I started putting the pee pads in the bathtub and then whenever he would have to go, you know, use the potty, I would pick him up and then put him on the pee, pee 
keypad that's in the bathtub and we would just um he would go right away on the pee pad and so yeah that's what i started doing and um i noticed like maybe three or four days ago that tucker actually used the um pee pad on his own i was in the kitchen fixing his lunch and he walked over to the pee pad it was in the middle of the floor he walked over to the pee pad and peed and i was like yay tucker good job Good job, boy. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and he was so excited. And I was so excited. Um, so he's learning. He's definitely learning that, you know, he can go to the go to the pee pad on the middle of the floor and pee on it and everything like that. So he is learning slowly but surely. Um, and so that was another tip that I have for you guys. Let me see what else I have. um one thing i noticed so tucker does not have um like his teeth are growing in now so he's kind of like at that phase where he's teething and going through and so a lot of the treats that i bought tucker were even though they were soft um he still doesn't like he doesn't like to chew them so for the treats what i ended up doing um was going and getting some lunch meat like the chicken breast lunch meat just plain no flavors or anything um and using that for treats for him because the little um the other training treats were just too hard for him to chew or too too solid he needed something um a little lighter um so yeah that's another tip um i heard that the lunch meat chicken breast is good um if you have blueberries or um even i believe someone even said raw carrots i haven't tried that but i do know that he likes the lunch meat chicken breast um so i do use that and yeah that's pretty much it so just want to say come on tucker let's see say bye <laughs> so yes this is my guy tucker hey tucker hey tucker but yeah so um again you guys if you, I have already, some of you who follow me on social media have already been introduced to Tucker um, on my Facebook and Instagram page. And then I also post some videos of him in my stories. So make sure, you know, you follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Erica N. Williams, just to kind of stay up to date on Tucker. But also he has his own Instagram page. Don't you, you want to tell him? Say I'm my own Instagram page. Yeah. Tucker has his own Instagram page, so you can follow him at Tucker I Williams on Instagram. And don't worry, guys, Tucker will follow back. <laughs> so y'all follow back. <laughs> All right, you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you to everyone who sent words of encouragement and who supported me on my journey to becoming a fur mom. We're so excited and we can't wait to see you guys in future videos. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>